Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Gavin from ThriveWP.com. Uh, today we're going to be looking at a really simple way to add a scroll to top button using the theme builder Elementor. Okay, so as you can see on our website, we have a scroll to top button that's kind of sat in the bottom right corner, stays there all the time, no matter where we are on the site. Um, and it is essentially what what it says on the tin really. Um, if you've scrolled down the page, sometimes it can be really annoying when you have to scroll all the way back up to the top, um, especially if you're on mobile. So you click the top button and it takes you straight back to the top. Uh, so like I say, we're going to show you how to do this using the Theme Builder Elementor um, because it is really simple uh, and it avoids having to install separate plugins that firstly add overhead to your site because you're then adding more code and more files, but also it's just another point of access for, for potential hacking. That's not to say it would happen, but obviously the more plugins you have, the more files you have, the more places hackers have to look. Um, and of course, the options that are there often are based on JavaScript and so on. So that again adds overhead to your page loading uh, and everything else. So this really is just a really quick tutorial showing you how to do it if you're using Theme Builder Elementor. Um, without adding plugins, without using JavaScript and so on. It's really quick and it's really simple and it does the job really well as you can see. Um, so we're going to do this on one of our client sites and we will show you how to do it. So the first thing you need to do okay, is you need to uh, basically make a reference point to tell the button where the top is, if that makes sense. So if we had the button that said scroll to top and we only wanted it to scroll uh, to here, then we would make that reference point here. But really, most people are going to want it to scroll to the top of the page. So the first thing we need to do uh, is go into our admin area, we need to go to Elemental Templates and then Theme Builder. Uh, so this is assuming that you already have Elementor and you have a footer and header set up. Um, this is you. This is through Elementor Pro, but there is an option to have. Uh, there's a plugin where you can still create your own headers uh, and footers, so it would work in the same way, really. Um, so we're going to go to the header first, okay. And what we need to do is we need to select the top section of the website. We need to go to Advanced, and where you see CSS ID, just put top. Um, or you can call it whatever you like, um, but just remember what you call it because we need to use that again later on. So we update, update that template. Uh, that is now updated and we've got that reference point for the button. So we'll go back to the dashboard and we will then go to the footer. Uh, and this is where we're going to add our button um, and you know make its uh, edit its visual appearance. So depending on where you want your button to sit on the page, okay, you can either add it into your current footer um, or you can add a new section. So it really depends. Now for us, we added a new section because we wanted it to sit on the very bottom right hand corner rather than being within the constraints of these sections, which it would just kind of sit here. Um, so what we do is we add a new section, one full section, okay, and then we want to search for button. Oop. And we'll add our button to that new section. Okay, and then we'll just pop top on it. Um, you can type whatever you want in there. And then with a the link, leave the hashtag there and just put top. And remember, top is the word you used as a reference for the header. So if you didn't call it top, if you called it something else, then you need to use that word in here. Uh, then really, it's just down to positioning and styling uh, of that button. So we're going to do the same as what we did with our website. We want it to sit in the far bottom right hand corner. So the first thing we need to do is make that new section uh, full width so it goes right to the edge. Okay. Then we need to clear any margin or padding with that section. And again, the same with the column. So we go to column advanced 
clear those padding so then you can see it's gone right up against the edge now okay and again uh, if we click the actual button itself we'll just clear those as well and under advance just to make sure okay so while we're here uh, under the button section so we could click the button go to advanced what you also need to do is go to motion effects and then you'll see sticky uh, and you'll select bottom so that button basically then sticks to the bottom of the site no matter where you are you can then choose uh, on which devices this sh uh, this happens we're going to leave it as all devices okay so then we're going to go back to the styling of our button and we're going to style it up so it fits uh, you know the style of the website so we're going to have our button a green color um, we will have our text white okay um, we're not going to give it any hover effects we're just going to leave it as is okay now if you notice on ours we have kind of a curved top uh, and a flat bottom so we're going to do the same again um, and to achieve this what you need to do is just edit the border radius of the button so we'll give the top say 5 and the right 5 and then we'll leave bottom and left 0 and what that does uh, is it gives it a flat bottom and a curved top as you can see okay um, so then what's left to do really is uh, sort out your padding so you could leave it as it was um, or you could kind of change the padding to suit you so we're going to go maybe I don't know eight top and bottom maybe around 20 left and right yeah that looks okay um, and then what we're going to do is just position the button over to the right uh, and again you can make the button extra small uh, larger do whatever you like in terms of styling we're going to leave it small we think that's just about right uh, and then we'll update that page or that template sorry so then what we'll do is we'll go back to the site and we will refresh okay and as you can see we now have that scroll to top button in the far bottom right corner uh, and it just sticks there no matter where we go in the page okay it's stuck to the bottom it's not going anywhere it doesn't matter if we go to a different page okay it's always going to be there ready for us to click so you know imagine uh you know someone's come to your website they've scrolled down had a read through and gone, yes this, this is looking good uh i maybe want to purchase this but it is it's a it's an effort you know we're all lazy <laughs> website browsers these days so a simple button where they can just click and scroll straight to the top um within an instant is is really awesome I like I say, it doesn't matter what page you go on the site, it works because you've placed it in the footer uh, site-wide. So you can go wherever you like, uh, click to top, and you go straight back to the top again. Um, so that's it, really. Like I say, that's how to add a simple, quick uh, scroll-to-top button without adding plugins, without additional JavaScript, um, using the Theme Builder Elementor. Thanks very much. See you in the next one.